Hallelujah, glory to God. Beloved, today Abba gave me the compassion for everybody affected with this thing, with uh, the nonsense that's going on in the satanic industry, in the entertainment industries and Hollywood and all this kinds of thing, okay? He, I'm going to read something that I wrote first, and you're going to see what, what I said, and I have to look at my words because, um, you know, they roll on here. So give me a second. Here we go. All right. So when Abba said, do not idolize, why did he say it? Everything he says is with a reason. So let's see what he said today about this, right? He had a lot to say. And I shared quite a lot from four years ago when they, you know, when they popped the memory up. That's what I was sharing. All right, so here we go. So he was focusing on. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read you what I wrote. Okay. All right. So this thing with DD, PDD, right, and all that's been happening. Our Jesus is breaking my heart for the souls that they ruined in the entertainment industry. I can't explain that I'm feeling their pain. Some hurt straight to the grave, lured in after their lust for wealth and or fame, and snatched in a moment into temptation to take the opportunity, quote unquote, invite, to strike a deal with Satan in his pawn at the quote-unquote gathering or parties dressed as a quote-unquote participant, aware and unaware, abused, drugged, drunken, defiled, screwed, men with men, women with women, with little children even. These who sold themselves till their senses and judgment were overtaken with pleasure of sexual escapades and orgies and all that. Constantly. Till they're in a constant state of pleasure for a certain amount of time. As legions of demons entered their rebellious soul for the exchange in the horrifying moments of fear, mingled with erotica and pleasure, threatened, blackmailed, and ruined, as Satan laughed as souls bowed to him, denying the grace and love of Yahweh Jesus Christ, to be different from the world. Everything that God stands for, mocked, defiled, denied in every way that they possibly can, which is why you'll always see people with a big cross there and a big cross there because their souls are crying out, but some of them are mocking Jesus, right? So everything that God stands for mocked and denied till all they had was their prize of scars and went about their lives in bondage and slavery to Satan, trying to drown moments of shame with the wealth and the fame, for many it could not suffice, the shame and condemnation that they had to endure, that they had to carry. They ended up trying to forget the pain, like a much convicted soul drowning it, trying to drown it with substance abuse, drugging it, or trying to until they refused 
the bondage and wanted out. When they wanted out, they were ended. Their lives cut short. Those alive still in bondage call to do and to be whatever they are required to be used like lifeless things by multiple people, married or not. And they subject themselves, they subjected themselves to, and they subject themselves to it to continue in the fame or the fortune or to stay alive. Children sexually violated, babies slaughtered, innocents lost. But these were left out and unmentioned because when a human mind has negligence, you cannot give spiritual things to a carnal mind. It simply won't understand. He said, not who would, would do such a thing, but what? The devil. That's what. The brokenness of these people that you look upon and you find... Okay. The brokenness of these people you look upon and people that you idolize, thinking that they're loving their fancy lives, they're actually hating it and wishing to go back to that day that they made the choice to bow to Satan and say no. No, you don't understand. The devil has puppeted souls to perform, to act as though it was enjoyable, to paint a mirage or a masquerade on and perform like his slaves to lure in more unsuspecting souls in, in for the ruin by deception till it is too late and they're taken out of this life. I cried a lot. Now, there was that. Um, Abba said these things. One of the very things that he said today was, um, well, the word that he gave was, it's, okay, they who do the truth, one. The other one is it is shameful to speak of what is done in secret by them. He has have no fellowship with the un with the with the workers of darkness, right? Everything in the dark will come to light. Then I heard him say, there is not a thing that will not be uncovered. So whatever you discussed, whatever you thought, whatever you did against the living God, Jesus Christ, is going to be shown on a big screen. And it says, there is not a thing that will not be uncovered. By the confession of a man, is he what? Refuted or condemned? Then he said, it is a good time to repent and to confess sins. Yahweh Jesus says he is eternally blind to what he has forgiven, but time is running out. Then he said, the time has come for judgment to be ruled in the favor of the saints. The Ancient of Days took his seat, and the court is sat. All right, so that's what he gave me today about that part. Then also, there was a prophecy about, um, I don't know if his name is Jamie Foxx, but the actor that stars in Jamie Foxx as the lead actor, Jamie Foxx, the prophecy with Jamie Foxx that was seen with him on a deathbed came from one of those initiation parties. And it came to pass 
where he almost died and his family kept it under wraps because they didn't want to say because you know people would splurge on it but you see in order to take a good man and put him in and get him to do things to or people to do things to him with a click on with a in a in a state of judgment it is hard because he will get convicted so if you drown out that state where he can judge you know that he can say okay this is good and this is evil which is where drugs and drinking or substance abuse comes in that's what they've been doing with the people getting them high getting them drugged and doing whatever they want to do with them and I mean whatever um then he kind of broke down the word actors so like ACT as in acting it's not real it's all a fake out and I'm not talking about movies but I'm talking about their lives they have to accept anything and everything that is brought to their lives whether they're married they have kids whatever they sign contracts they make deals and it is until further notice then so they're acting then there's entertain -ers. they're called to entertain who are they entertaining well, it looks like they're entertaining us, but they're really entertaining Satan by what? The deception of souls that they are portraying as they pull in more and more and more into that state of deception and desiring what they are projecting. When they do the that, they're showing they are deceived and they are trying to deceive others. So, I, um, in 2010 and 2011, a certain celebrity, um, reached out and he was now getting popular. Um, he used to kind of lays with my sister and we ended up speaking whether he was in the studio or not, we would talk. And this was Justin Brown. He was really disturbed. And he was popping. I think he was having a lot of pills. He was to sleep and to um, just to have a peace. And we were trying to get him off of it um, in a kind of a way of coaching and prayer. And... Um, Jesus kept him, beloved. Whatever he was going through sent him into depression. And around that time they were pushing, it was obvious that they were pressuring him with substance abuse and with violation to his body. And it was an overload. And we prayed a long time for him but you see when you call on the name of the Lord no matter how bad it gets when you address Jesus because some people can understand that Jesus is a savior and you need to save you but then you forget all about him when it gets dandy again so when you but when you call upon the Lord in sincerity you say Jesus save me and be Lord of my life he comes in and whatever is trying to snatch you has to go because the blood of Jesus is against Satan so at least one you know um, so that's what Abba gave to me today
just laid it on my heart to um, feel compassion for all of these people in the entertainment industry. We look at them and we say, wow, look at them. But they're really puppets for Satan. They're crying on the inside. And some of them, many of them want to escape. But you know what? They're scared for their lives. They're, they will be ended if they try to leave. And which is why that when they made that deal with Satan and they signed those contracts, it comes as if they've given up themselves to him. And it's a bunch of sad people on there acting it out, putting up facades and mirages. If they try to, if they try to have a normalcy of life, they have to do it under the eyes of whatever, whoever, um, whoever wants to do whatever. For example, if they have husbands and wives and they say, okay, uh, you're gonna share. You're gonna. You're gonna share your life now with this entertainer, or this person, because it's good for the industry. Your wife or your husband is gonna have to sit back, and watch that come to pass. Where you're gonna have to do exactly as they say and how they say it. Basically, like a puppet. And these people. Oh, but Jesus showed me they're so sad that they end up doing substance abuse. They end up committing suicide. They end up, you know, all sorts, just crying out for a rescue. And then they say, oh, this one drowned. And oh, this one hung themselves. And oh, this one and this one. What happens when the conscience cannot be drowned? What happens when you want to go back on your word to Satan and you want to say, the deal's off, I, want, I don't want any part to do with this. And you've already um, seen what it's about. Yeah, now you become a what? A liability. And then they try to tie up loose ends and they end lives. So what we're looking at on screens, especially when they do like um, um, lives in the day of or oh, blogs and blogs and all these kinds of things, the devil's running the show at the back. He's the puppet master. That soul or these souls are crying out for salvation. They're crying out for redemption. They're crying out for one more chance to say no to fame and fortune. They're begging for a chance to say no. And some get the chance those who choose Christ they step out and they pray their way through and they become these normal people as normal as they could possibly be they try to forget it but if you look into the eyes of many you'll see the brokenness Because many of this, these initiations happened in violation, happened in substance abuse, witchcraft, satanism, occultism, uh, complete violation of the body, the R word, you know what I mean? Gang, R word. Whatever you could possibly put in there. Orgies. Kids. And then they call them freak-offs. 
They put a fancy name to it and they say, oh, you're just getting freaky a little bit because the carnal mind cannot understand spiritual things. And it's very oblivious. They're, they're oblivious to the, the what's happening, which is why it's too late when they get caught. And then you got to love one thing more than the other. So the only way that they're going to get dragged in is if they love the fame and the fortune more than God. They're not going to step into a place like that. You're not going to step into a door like that. You're not going to, you're just not going to. But then they do. And there's a lot of broken people around Hollywood. There's a lot of broken people around the entertainment industry. And they're putting on a facade. Because Satan is the puppet master. And he's got them dancing to his tunes. And he's got them doing whatever he says. And when they try to escape, they end them. They end them. If demons inside of them don't end them, the people end up bring well, of course, you know, Satan inside of his people tie up loose ends. So it's a do, perform, act, or die. Which is why when you see the sex symbols and sexy icons and they, you know, they're always kind of lewd and nude and, hey, it's a requirement. Because they're holding blackmail and all of these things to these people. It's a price. So Abba showed me what they go through, how they feel. The depth of their spirit man crying out for redemption, crying out for deliverance, crying out for salvation. And they don't know where to turn. Because they're told if they ever try to leave, they'll be ended. They find that out. They enjoy the worship of the world or the, idol the idolizing of themselves. And then it's over. So, that's what Abba said today about that. And it's quite concerning because... We, here we have the world that wants to be like them. The majority of the world's population wanting to be like these quote-unquote stars. It's a sad place to be. It's a very sad place to be. It's a lost place to be.